Hey guys, this is Twist Craft Girls bringing you another Rainbow Loom Bracelet tutorial. Today we will be teaching you how to make the Honeycomb Rainbow Loom Bracelet. This is what it should look like when it's finished. Today, for this bracelet, you're going to need your loom, a hook, a C-clip, and two different piles of rubber bands. You can use as many colors as you want, but today I'm only using two. Before you start, you want to make sure the pegs on your loom are U-shaped and the arrows are pointing up. When you're ready to start, you want to take your first rubber band and put it on the bottom peg of the middle row. You want to pull it and put it on the one diagonally above it on the left side. Then you want to take your next rubber band, the same color, put it on the last peg you used and put it straight above it. You want to take your same color, last peg you used, and put it on the one di diagonally above it. Then you're going to do the other side. The bottom peg of the middle row. Put diagonally above it. Same color, you want to go straight above from the last one you used. The one you last used. And put it diagonally above it. So it should make a hexagon. Then you want to take a different color. Put it on the middle peg and put it diagonally above it. Same color, last one you used, and pull it straight up. Last peg you used, put it diagonally above it. Now the other side. Diagonally above it, same peg you used, pull it straight up. Last peg you used, diagonally above it. You want to keep doing this hexagon pattern until the end of the loom. This is what it should look like when you're done laying out your rubber bands. You're going to take the color that you last used, put it on the middle peg, and pull it diagonally above it. Then you're going to flip your loom and we'll start to hook. You're going to skip the first peg and you're going to go to the one diagonally above it. You're going to take the middle rubber band, you're going to pull it off and put it on the one diagonally above it on the left. If your rubber bands just fall off like this, you can just put it back on the peg. Then you want to take the bottom rubber band pull it off, put it on the one straight above it. Then you want to take your bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the peg diagonally above it. Then you're going to do your other side. So take the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one diagonally above it. Then you're going to take your bottom rubber band, pull it off, put it on the one straight above it going to take your bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one diagonally above it. Then you want to take your second to last rubber band, mine is teal, and it's a different color, so it's easier for me to find. You want to pull it off and put it on the one diagonally above it. Then you want to grab the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one straight above it. I'm going to put, take the bottom rubber band, pull it off, put it on the one diagonally above it. Then you want to take your very bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one diagonally above it. Grab the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one straight above it. Grab the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and put it on the one diagonally above it. Do this until the end of the loom. This is what it should look like when you're done hooking. Then, 
you're going to go to the top peg in the middle row. You're going to stick your hook in and make sure it's in front of all the rubber bands. Then you're going to stick it out to the side. Then you can take whatever color rubber band you want. I'm using my maroon. You're going to put it on the hook. Then you're going to pull the hook through and hold the bracelet on the other end. And put it on. Like that. You should take the two rubber bands and pull it to the part of the hook that you hold on to just so it doesn't fall off. Like that. Then you're going to move it to the back of the peg and you're going to pull off your bracelet. This is what it should look like. You can put this part aside for now. Now we're going to do the extension. We're going to take your first rubber band Put it on the bottom peg in the middle row and pull it straight up. Then you're going to take your next color, last peg you used, pull it straight up. Last peg you used, pull it straight up. I'll show you one more time. Last peg you used, pull it straight up. Do this until about the seventh peg. Then you can flip your loom and it'll start to hook. You want to take your hook and pull off the two rubber bands on the hook. And you're going to make sure you have them in your hand. Then you're going to put it on the last peg with the rubber band on it. Like that. Then you're going to pull this part out and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band minus two. Then you're going to Pull it off into the one straight above it. Again, if your rubber band comes off like this, you can just put it back on because it really won't matter. So you can just put it back on the peg. Then you're going to go to the next peg, cut the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and move it forwards. Cut the bottom rubber band, pull it off, and move it forwards. Do this until the end of the row. This is what it should look like when you're done hooking the row. Then you're going to take your C-clip and you're going to go to the top peg with the rubber bands on it. You're going to get both rubber bands in the C-clip. And then you're going to hold your C-clip and take the extension off. So it should look like this. Then, you're going to attach the C-clip to the other end of the bracelet. And you can wear it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.